You know, there's a lot of talk today about how to engage a workforce. And at the Prague Leadership Institute, uh, we have spent many years studying uh, how to engage people in what they do. And one of the things we found is that establishing a human link, in fact, we call leadership the human element of leadership in our context. But establishing that human link is very important when you're talking about engaging people. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Um, it's two o'clock in the morning. I run out of gas. I call you up and say, I'm out of gas. I don't have any money. Can you come help me? You come help me. I will never forget that. Now, what's happened here? If we look at it uh, and disaggregate the actions, what's really happened is this. The person that I called went out of their way. They inconvenienced themselves to a great degree to help me. They set their own comfort or needs aside to help me. And what I say to leaders is this. The degree of which you inconvenience yourself, the degree to which you set your interests aside to help someone else, is the same degree to which your help will be received and the strength of a human link will be built. Here's what it looks like in business. I know that you want to go to uh, a special program uh, for development. We don't have it in the development budget, but I have some discretionary funds over here that I was going to use for another project. And I talk to you about this and I realize how important it is to you. And, and so I say, you know what, I'm going to move some of that money over here so that you can do that. Now, having done that, you realize how important this other thing was to me and that I went out of my way to help you. Why is that important? The importance is this. I'm demonstrating as your leader that I care about your development and I'm even willing to inconvenience myself to help you. That is a strong way to build a human link with someone. Think about that. Till next time, I'm Pepper DeCalier.